I directly told him that the comics that appeared in Unbreakable didn't look that believably real from the history they were trying to capture that I could kind of tell automatically like that didn't exist back then or the comic art wouldn't have looked exactly like it I was giving him probably way too hard of a time so now they hit me up about doing the phony comic book that will be on screen it involved even creation of a brand new character that didn't have a visual to it until Knight said that it was what he was okay with but he came up with a character name and it fits a certain thing he wants coming across in the story so I did a completely painted illustration cover that will be meant to look like a comic book that could have come out at any point between the late 80s and probably late 90s you know something that's within that time period and it's feasible that my art style might fit that I also did the logo design for the character name so if you see Whisper Man in the movie I designed that. It seemed to fit this sort of weird thing of like a character who's kind of a, a puppet master of sorts and you know visually I wanted to be really out there and he accepted that so he came up with the, the concept of what he wanted it to look like as far as the name and a lot of names were thrown out that didn't make it because they were already in use. So even Whisper Man was in use in plural in the Doctor Who series but he settled on that, and um, here it is.